secret document scandal really about? Why is it happening now? On a scale of one to the most innocent man who's ever lived, how innocent is Donald Trump? There are Trump insiders who say there was a standing order to declassify information that the president took from the Oval Office. You were national security advisor for what, 17 months. What was your knowledge of any standing order? There was no standing order. I was not briefed on anything like that. When I started as national security advisor, I never heard of it, never saw it in operation, never knew anything about it. The president never said anything to me. Hello's being hawked by Mike Lindell, speeches being given by Kid Rock, the Easter egg roll hosted by Vecna. We could very well have a sitting president under felony indictment and ultimately a criminal trial. It would grind government to a halt. Bring it out! Bring out Pence! Bring him out! Bring out Pence! Bring him out! Bring out Pence! Now, Mike Pence obviously couldn't respond to that. He is staunchly against anyone coming out. Look, you know Donald Trump. Is it plausible Trump was showing classified documents to people in private meetings? The short answer is yes. I watched him show uh, documents to people at Mar-a-Lago on the, uh, the dining room patio. So he has no respect for classified information, never did. I want to talk about two seemingly unnoticed by the corporate MAGA media legal items that have happened of late. One of which is that apparently... Trump campaign advisor who apparently was shown classified documents by the former president has a top post at a lobbying firm serving Chinese entities that potentially pose a national security threat and help Beijing commit human rights abuses. Susie Wiles works on Trump's 2024 campaign and is co-chair of Mercury Public Affairs, which has taken millions of dollars in recent years from Chinese companies Companies such as E-Link, Hikvision, and Alibaba. Well, I've been watching Fox News for 26 days straight, and I'm ready to Fox explain the biggest witch hunt since Dorothy skipped down that yellow brick road with a robot in a furry. Quote, Susie could put Trump away for years in just one minute of testimony to Jack Smith. A rival GOP operative told the Post, quote, she's got Trump by the balls, which means she can name her price for her loyalty and Trump can't say no. People, this wasn't a search. This was a raid. The woke FBI smashed a window and broke in and Merrick Garland took a bubble bath in Trump's tub and erased everything on his DVR. He was catching up on Abbott Elementary. Johnson Senator and what it looks like when a ghost dies. Ron Johnson. How much did you know about what your chief of staff was doing with the alternate slates of abductors? No, you're not. I can see your phone. I can see your screen. What Trump did was normal. Everyone brings work home, even when they no longer work there. After I got fired from H&M, I brought home an entire cash register. It is totally normal and not illegal. Trump's top campaign aide, who's been with him since she and DeSantis had a falling out, He's tucked away at his Bedminster golf club, venting his frustrations to nearly anyone who will listen. Yeah, I'll have to try to figure less out a, a, yeah. See, as president, I could have did less, yeah. uh, but now I can't, you know, but this is yeah, less. Now, now. It's got to be tough on the staff. Yes, sir, it does sound like a, a one-sided witch hunt. Now, do you want your usual omelet, ham and chocolate chips? Person, woman, man, camera TV. And what was said was absolutely fine and very, very perfectly. We did nothing wrong. This is a whole hoax. <laughs> is anyone in jail yet? I'm asking John Meacham to put this into historical perspective, but there is no historical perspective when no, you have no a president, president who's actually been indicted for hush money payoffs. You've got a president who's been indicted for stealing nuclear secrets. You have a president who's being indicted for stealing secrets on invading Iran. You've got a president indicted for stealing other military secrets and highly classified documents. You have a president indicted for obstruction of justice. And now you have a president, we were talking about the Supreme Court, 
I mean, the Supreme Court, who, again, uh, out of control, running roughshod over the will of the overwhelming majority. Joe Brandon's Department of Justice is out of control. Congratulations, FBI. You did it. You found Melania's top secret underwear. Can I see it? Seriously? Donald Trump took documents? Documents? And at some point, it started off as a calmer tone and everything and then became heated. The conversation was was pretty heated. I remember hearing the word wimp. Either he called him a wimp. I don't remember if he said, you are a wimp, you'll be a wimp. Wimp is the word I remember. I just want to say to your viewers, I don't think people understand how hard it is to get your um, your classified uh permissions. I, I remember when I was going through it to get, get all of mine, I got held up because of a $13 kinder care a bill that I did not know about. And so I couldn't get clearance. What? It went, they go through everything about you. It's very difficult to get a security. Clearance. This is no worse than what Hillary did, which was terrible. And she should go to prison, which is why Trump should not go to prison. Do I have to list why it's okay that he has the documents? Okay, attorney client privilege, executive privilege, white privilege, diplomatic immunity. September 2021, Senator Chris Van Hollen wrote a letter to Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo noting a security clearance. A security analytics company found Yeelink phones contain software that secretly records calls and tracks web of local networks of Americans. Uh, Mercury did not terminate that business with Yeelink until May 2023. So when Trump was showing uh, Susie Wiles this, um, they were still doing business with Yeelink while they were extracting data from Americans. The lobbying firm also had a U.S. subsidiary of Hikvision as one of the largest foreign clients last year, raking in more than $1.7 million from that client, which makes video surveillance equipment for the Chinese government used to locate and detain Uyghur Muslims, Axios reported in April. Uh, the Kavanaugh hearings? She, she actually ran his uh, Florida campaign. Well... It looks like she's going to be a witness against Donald Trump in the Bedminster documents case because she was there when he pulled out the maps. In the Trump's Bedminster office, Susie Wiles and God knows what's on Trump's desk as they stand in the room with the founder of Bikers for Trump. Credit to the Twitter account at the P-Tape. August 6, 2022. Two days before the Mar-a-Lago search, remember, search warrants executed in Mar-a-Lago August 8th of 2022. Um, so two days before the Mar-a-Lago search, Chris Cox of Bikers for Trump posted a picture of himself as he was visiting Trump in Ben Minster office. On Trump's desk, a shitload of documents which Cox felt he needed to redact. Why? And then you take a look at uh, the photograph that was posted and you can see the redactions of, of documents on Donald Trump's desk. But who's that in the mirror right there? Here, zoom in on the mirror. And there she stands. Trump is technically still the president because he never gave us two weeks notice. Double jeopardy. That's gotta be a thing, right? Seriously, we're prosecuting Trump on the Espionage Act? You're trying to get an American president on a French word? I don't think so, Pepe Le Pew. No former Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani has been interviewed by federal investigators as part of the special counsel's investigation into the efforts to overturn the 2020 election. They've also interviewed Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger this week. Everyone the former president knows eventually gets subpoenaed. We're one week away from Liz Cheney swearing in the grimace. <laughs> What does this mean for Trump? Do you think he should be bracing for another indictment? No, uh -uh. no, 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 no. A high ranking 2020 Trump 2020 campaign official testified before a federal grand jury in the probe, former deputy director of election day operations for the Trump campaign. Gary Michael Brown was seen entering a Washington DC court about being the one to hand deliver the alternate slate to Congress. Ms. Trump share with you any more details about what had happened or any details about what had happened in the Oval Office that morning? The word that she relayed to that the president called the vice president, I apologize for being impolite, but do you rem remember what she said her father called him? The P word. 
platypus. Uh, <laughs> pumpernickel paprikash. I don't know. Oh, that P word. Good thing Pence wasn't in person or the president would have tried to grab him. In a completely separate and unrelated case, three individuals involved with Trump's media company for the Truth Network or whatever the fuck it's called have been indicted for insider trading because they bought shares of the digital company that Trump would later merge with. They did it before the merger. How do we know this wasn't a coincidence? Well, it turns out in emails, they actually referred to the damn thing as the Trump SPAC. America, if you aren't so outraged that you forgot to pick your children up from school every day last week, then you are not paying attention. Where's the raid on Hunter Biden's laptop? Oh, right. The laptop is sitting in a five-star hotel getting a massage and eating caviar from China. It's as if they knew what was about to happen. Well, golly, how could they know? Citizens have to wrestle with it now, right? It, th this is, it's, it's so central. Uh, and I, I just really believe that we have a pretty clear choice in this political season. We can choose a constitutionalist, a party uh, that has been pretty faithful to the Constitution, uh, which is the party of the incumbent president, or we can favor a party that has been shockingly but persistently supportive of a insurrectionist or a seditionist. In fact, just a few days later, Dr. Eastman emailed Rudy Giuliani and requested that he be included on a list of potential recipients of a presidential pardon. Quote, I've decided that I should be on the pardon list if that is still in the works. If they indict Trump for this, there will be riots in the streets. And if they don't indict him, there will also be riots in the streets. Just like on January 6th, which was not a riot, it was a normal tourist activity, which is good or bad. Either way, I will not be picking up my kids from school that day. One of the problems with massive conspiracies of criminal organizations is that there's so many fingers in the pot. There's so many people who know. That's why the Cosa Nostra always keeps it in the family. And that's not a sentence we would have said about Eisenhower and Stevenson, right? <laughs> we had that, that, was not a, that was not something that, that, that uh, a lot of people grew up with. Sorry, sweeties. This is just another deep state hoax and a major distraction from the real story. Joe Biden gave a speech when it was dark out. But it's, it's pretty vital. And you have to ask the question, does, is any policy so important that you would want to favor someone that you think is a vehicle for that policy, even if they don't and have self-evidently tried to trash the Constitution of the United States? I've been poking around in some legal books, and it turns out breaking the law is against the law. And we did try to bring down democracy and meow, meow, meow. Anyway, if it's no biggie, I totally get it, but maybe we could be cellmates, LOL, TTFN. And we could go on, but that's really kind of it. You know, it's pretty basic. Do you want a constitutionalist or do you want an insurrectionist? And, you, you know, then we get into the but, 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 taxes and judges. Mm -hmm. If we don't have a constitution, taxes and judges aren't going to matter at all. The reality is all the rats are jumping off the sinking ship. And some of them are going to have to bite Trump to do so. Otherwise, they're going down with that boat. I'm Zachariah. It's hot as fuck in this car. Just like the legal issues for Trump are hotting up. Y'all take it easy. I'm Zachariah. I'm Star Liberal. Bye, everyone. Merrick Garland is a space elf.